This is Chris over at SkyTech Enterprise Solutions. And today we have a video about hybrid analysis, which is one of the tools used in the Security Operations Center. Let's get into it. All right, so as you can see, um, I've browsed over to hybrid-analysis.com. Again, it's hybrid-analysis.com. This tool here is a free malware analysis service for the cybersecurity community that detects and analyzing, analyzes unknown threats using a unique hybrid analysis technology. I believe this is a, uh, this is the second time I'm making a video about hybrid analysis. The first time I was not logged into hybrid analysis. We just took a look at the interface of hybrid analysis. This time around, I'm logged into hybrid analysis. So we're gonna get a deeper overview or deeper insight into exactly how this um, free malware analysis tool works. All right, so lately I've been getting a lot of, uh, I guess I can call it spam in my email um, address and uh, or email inbox. And I wanna do some investigations on my own to find out if, uh, you know, these are, things that I should be wary of. Obviously, I should be, but as a SOC analyst, part of your job is to investigate malware, um, which could be embedded in spam emails that are sent out by the bad guys to unsuspecting people. How did they get your email address? Who knows, right? It's, it's a big business out there. It's underground. People actually sell people's emails. And, you know, they can reach you even in your corporate firewall, um, let alone your personal Gmail, Yahoo um, accounts, and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm going to dive here into my inbox. And I, I'm seeing a lot of these very um, interesting looking emails that I'm getting. And they're basically, you know, coming from very weird uh, um, locations. I mean, if you look at the from subject here or title it says costco but you can see the spelling is kind of weird this o here is actually a zero and the font kind of looks funny and then you come over here you look at this i mean if it were to come from if i were to get an email from costco.com it should say costco.com but this right here is a dead giveaway it tells you that this is all not from costco so i'm going to investigate what this is as you notice i'm not clicking on that link because if you click it it might take you somewhere you get malware downloaded on on your computer and now you're infected so i copy that url okay i'm going to come into hybrid analysis and i'm simply going to paste it in here i'm going to click on this analyze button of course it's going to come in here and uh, basically says do not submit my sample to unaffiliated third parties i just go ahead and check these boxes Hey, I'm not a robot. And then the capture says, um, select all the chimneys in here. Guys, help me out here because I can't find all these chimneys by myself, but here we go. I think I got them all. Click continue. And here we go. I'm gonna generate a public report. Now, hybrid analysis is one of the OSINT tools. And OSINT, guys, means um, tools that are not purchased or licensed, right? These are open source intelligence tools, OSINT, O-S-I-N-T. If you Google OSINT, you'll find out that there are tons and tons and tons of software, websites, platforms that are dedicated to analyzing and researching open source um, threats out there in the cybersecurity world, right? So the word is OSINT, O-S-I-N-T. Guys, Google it, keep that in, in, in your notes. All right, so this is just one of the OSINT tools out there for cybersecurity analysts and SOC analysts and what have you. So what I did is I went in here, I pasted this URL and uh, I submitted it, right? So now hybrid analysis went and just kind of looked into its databases and uh, came up with all this information that I'm looking at here. The first thing I notice is that this is no specific threat, right? 
And then when you come out here, it says, hey, the URL is clean. Uh, and that is a scan from URL scan.io. So again, hybrid analysis is using these engines here to kind of look at this um, information that I, I posted here or pasted in there. Again, it's using another platform called Virus Total. And Virus Total is coming out saying there's nothing available about this URL. Okay. The other uh, system that it used is so here we have antivirus scan results. And here we have Falcon Sandbox scan results, right? Okay, this one here is saying um, that this was analyzed on today's date at this very moment. Threat score is not available. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, now I come down here and I say, hey, what's the incidence response on this? I can click here and get some additional information, right? I get this IP address. I come down here. I can post a comment if I want to. I'm not interested in that. I just want to find out what's going on over here with this thing. Now, I can dig in further and click on this uh, link here to look at the full report. Okay. So as I clicked on that link inside hybrid analysis, it takes me to URL scan that IO. And this is what I see when I get to that page. I get all this information, right? This is the, the pretty much the domain name of that long URL that I, I posted in here or pasted in here. This whole thing here, this is the domain name, right? Um, URL scan IO is basically giving me a summary here. It says this website contacted 53 IPs in six countries across 32 domains to perform a 312 HTTP to perform 312 HTTP transactions. It spits out the IP address, which is located in the U uh, United States, supposedly belongs to Amazon dash O2, right? So you're getting all this information here. All right. And it's saying that this domain name WSJ.com has been scanned 10,000 times on URL scan IO. So obviously people are trying to figure out if this is, you know, malicious or not. Google Safe Browsing says there's no classification for this URL. Of course, I'm not going to browse to it because everything seems vague here, right? It's, I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, so you get all these extra data here, okay? And to kind of further break down the information, there are all these tabs you can click on and just look at, you know, here's a get request. That's another get request, request, primary request, so on and so forth. And for all we know, you know, this WSJ might be legit. It might be a safe URL. It's just that a bad guy could have uh, infiltrated that domain and is sending this garbage from within that domain you know so the actual domain itself might be you know a bunch of good guys they they have their company out there everything's going great but you have bad guys that have infiltrated um remember when we did the um uh i think last week we had a video on how um you know the cyber kill chain i believe you know when the hackers infiltrate your network right they do reconnaissance and uh, target you and enter your domain and then they can own some computers in your system or some accounts and then they can send email out to unsuspecting people like myself in this case so if i were to start investigating that spam coming from your company yes your domain will be correct right the scans will say hey there's nothing wrong with this domain but obviously there's a bad guy in there sending bogus emails from your domain so you've been hijacked and you're using your computers or your systems as bots zombies to do malicious behavior all right let's go to the next tab and see how many redirects um occurred when i when um url scan io was researching this url okay so here we have all these http redirect chains right so I mean, you can see all this information out here. Let's see how many links we have. 
well, this is not really telling me. So these are links go into different origins. But yeah, so this doesn't even factor. Let's look at behavior. It's a lot of information here, guys. But um, these are one of the tools that actually is very popular. I mean, these are powerful tools, right? Okay, so I'm going to go back to this page here. And this time around, so I did look at URL scan IO. This time around, I'm going to look at what virus total is telling us. And again, we got a, so you, this one here gave us a clean analysis of that URL. Might be right. And this one here gives us a not available. So I'm going to click on that and we're going to virus total to go see what's going on. Um, well, let's see if I still have this URL on my, um, well, it's copied to my clipboard and yes, it is. So it's here. I just pasted it. I'm going to hit enter and we're going to watch virus total. And that is virus total is spelled V I R U S T O T A L dot com. So virus total now is telling me that, you know, there's no security vendor flags on this URL as being malicious. So this just might be right. Okay, this just might be a legitimate URL that has been hijacked by some bad guys. That 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 is possible, guys. So you know, we're getting this thing. I mean, we're getting all these clean, 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 like all these systems here. These security vendors are saying these are clean. Like this is a clean URL, right? We go to details. They're saying it's a news and media site, pretty much. All right. Uh, well, there we go. Wall Street Journal, right? Did I see journal here? Let's see. Well, there it is. WSJ, Wall Street Journal. See that, guys? So... If I were to go to WSJ right now, WSJ, oh, it is Wall Street Journal. Okay. I was confident enough to go there because I'm looking at all these scans here. Um, I think it's on this page telling me, I don't know how many of these are, but it looks like over 20 um, systems telling me that this is a clean URL. Okay. So I browse to it, it's clean. No issues here, nothing to see, all's good. All right, so now how do I create a report, okay, that basically says I did some research on this thing and it's clean, okay? So I can easily go here and copy all this stuff here, okay? And I'm going to paste this into, so I did a copy control um, C on my keyboard. And I'm going to open a, a Word document here. And what I'll do is I'll just start pasting my findings into that Word uh, Word document. So we're, we're saying, you know, just in case you are a, um, a SOC analyst at your job and you basically have to uh, report to your team lead. So here we'll say... Um, you know, we'll call this spam slash malware analysis results, right? We'll just call it that. Come in here. Now, I'm just pasting things for now. And uh, at some point, I will, oops. All right, so that's not playing well with me today. But long story short, I got it to sit on one page. So, you know, this is too large here. It's not... It's not playing well with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, instead of doing a copy of this text, I am going to simply, uh, I'm going to do a grab. So I'm going to do a screen capture. So here I'm using the snipping tool. and I'm on Windows. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay, obviously this URL is here and I'm going to copy this stuff here and I'm going to go into my Word document, delete everything in it, and I'm going to paste it in here. 
All right? So now you can see that it's actually there. So for now, I'm just doing all my screen screen captures and putting them into this Word document, and then I'll come back and clean it up and get it ready to send to my supervisor, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna click around some more. This is good. This is a clean URL. It's just these problems. Um, you know, it looks like some someone is using it for something nefarious, but the actual source is is clean, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go. So anyway, guys, just because I'm kind of, you know, moving fast does not mean that you should not go through and basically um, click all these buttons. There's a lot going on on these pages here. So it's good that you actually take time to click on these things and, um, you know, get to learn, get to see all the details, all the nooks and crannies of this system. Okay. So here I'm going to click on this link here. Again. Yeah, there's so many things to look at. Obviously, you know, your your team lead or your your you know your um your lead might tell you exactly what information he's looking for. So for all we know, he might just be looking for only this, right? Or he might be wanting something different from um from what we have here. OK, so with this said, I'm going to go back to hybrid analysis home and I'm going to go back into my email. And this time around, what I'm going to do is see, remember this time around, I went and used, I, you know, copied the URL from here. But obviously, this is a, uh, a social engineering tactic that these guys are using. Right. So and again, if, if you remember, uh, social engineering is really a. Um, and cybersecurity is when the bad guys are using your emotions, right, to get you to do something, which will basically end up having you send them information. So here, emotionally, I'm a coffee drinker. I don't know how they know, but I definitely want me a Keurig coffee maker. So I see this thing emotionally. I'm all happy hey look at these guys they're so cool to me they're good guys um they know i like coffee so emotionally i'm excited i'm gonna click on this thing and get my free uh what is this limited time only black friday coffee so they're saying answer and win a brand new keurig coffee maker i don't know what i'm going to answer but obviously they're trying to get some information from me you're going to answer something you're going to say hey you won provide us with your email address so that's how they start very small questions very not difficult not suspicious you send them your 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 you enter your email address next is like hey provide your shipping um home address so we can ship this thing to you because you won this uh whatever question and answer thing next thing you know put in your credit card so we can pay for shipping you fall for it and they start using your credit card somewhere in a different country so obviously we can tell that this is a link right if i mouse over this you know i get this uh this this uh the cursor changes into this hand here so i know this is a link i'm not gonna uh right i'm not gonna left click on this link i'm just gonna right click on it like that i'm going to copy the link address and i'm gonna go back into hybrid analysis I'm going to paste that in here and I'm going to analyze it. Right. Again, I'm going to walk through these prompts and I'm going to select all the sidewalks. I guess these two are sidewalks too. And this, yeah, I hope I got them all. All right. I didn't make it. So select all images with cars, cars, cars. I see some cars here. Verify. Ah, I got it this time. I'm processing. I'm going to generate a public report. All right. So let's see what this one looks like. Again, virus total says this one's clean. Wow. Okay. That is that is interesting, right? 
So again, going back to social engineering and phishing, um, it, it could be clean, you know, like I said, someone could have hacked into someone's um, clean system and is hiding in there and sending these things out. Or it could even be that an employee of that company could be doing this, you know? So you, you never know. You know, there's, there are bad guys everywhere. You can't really rule that out. So again, I'm going to click on this link here and see what uh, I see out here. Okay, so this one is uh, going to this IP address, IP detail. So this one is uh, originating from Germany, Nuremberg. It redirects at Chicago <laughs> before I see, you know, if I were to click on it, I haven't. So guys, don't be don't be clicking on these uh, suspicious looking um, offers, especially it's Black Friday and it's the holidays coming up and everybody wants to shop. And yeah, this is a big. Um, I guess I guess we can call this a watering hole moment, right? Where all these everybody wants to buy something, everybody's going to be shopping online, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And these bad guys are like, gotcha. They're going to be out there sending all kinds of spam and malware infused into these spam um, emails. So it's good to pay attention and be careful. All right. So let's see what I'm going to do next here. Um, so again, I can do a screen capture. Right. And paste this into my Word document. Again, it all depends on what your team lead wants to see, right? Definitely, I could go up here and start writing. Um, I can say, here is my analysis. Um, the following email messages I received from the, these suspicious looking URLs and email addresses, right? So this is how you prepare your your report, um, just based on what your your team your team lead or your CIO is uh, requesting from you. So the formatting is not a big deal. You can always just go ahead and add more stuff to it. But again, it's all about gathering the information and making sure that it's um, it's what folks want to see in your company as you do your job, right? Okay. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to look again in my email. So obviously, I'm you know I'm definitely going to delete this email, or I can actually go in here and report it as phishing see there's a report phishing who in gmail all right again here's another email that i received obviously i'm not i'm nowhere near a senior uh citizen but i don't know how they you know figured to send me this stuff here so again i'm going to go to this from link here and i'm going to do what i'm going to go into hybrid analysis i'm going to paste that in here start analyzing it, go through the, look at that. So I'm getting a domain does not exist message. And even though, wow, okay, well, let's see, crosswalk, crosswalk, crosswalk and verify. And did I miss something? I probably did. Is that a crosswalk? I mean, these things are getting confusing. Okay, so let's see, verify. All right, so this is not even going anywhere. I can't even continue. So we're going to close that out. And I'm going to go down here and see what this URL is. So I'm going to copy link address, remove this, paste that in there, analyze, go through the prompts again, and bridges. Okay. That's a bridge. That's a bridge. That's a bridge. 
and verify. Continue, generate public report. Again, we're getting a clean scan, which is uh, interesting to me. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, all right, let's do something real quick. We'll call this note. Notepad. I'm going to paste this in here. So it's actually AWS. So this AWS is not malicious, right? I mean, Amazon, it's a legitimate company. This S3 is one of the AWS, I guess, storage buckets. Um, just don't know what all this here is about. Again, like I said, bad guys can always use use good systems to reach out to you, right? So this is not unheard of. All right. So don't don't get thrown off just because it says Amazon AWS. There still could be a bad guy in there who's doing this, right? Even if he's not doing anything really bad, he's spamming my email. Right? This is unsolicited. I didn't ask for this. So I don't deserve to get this in my email. What if I have a thousand of these when I come in in the morning, I, then I can't read my work email or my personal email, right? All right, let's go to URL scan IO. Actually, you know what? I'll go to virus total this time. Let's go see what it's saying. Okay. Uh, no, I need the, uh, I need the whole thing. All right, so let me click copy and pastes all right i like this one here so although hybrid analysis or let's say url scan io tells me that this is clean virus total is you know flagged one malicious uh, incident here from this company here so these are security vendors and one and this one here cmc threat analyst threat intelligence says this is malicious right now let's go see what you, uh, url scan io actually says because i haven't really looked at what they have okay so there's a summary ip detail domains domain tree strange so again as you can see it's highlighting this one amazon s3 and that is legitimate. There's nothing wrong with that URL. So it's always going to pass. It's just everything after it could be fake, bogus, or malicious. Okay. Behavior, no, no cookies, no JavaScript, global variables, indicators, something similar. I'm not interested in that document object model not interested in that content uh, it's not what i'm looking for i'm not interested in api either but let's click on it obviously it's a bunch of code and as i said let's see if we can find that aws in here so there it is all right so this might actually be legitimate but again, it could be a, a bad guy using a good system to reach out, okay? So, so um, you just have to always be, what's it? Not paranoid, but you always have to be verifying things. All right, this one here is saying no specific threat. Let's see what this is. Same thing, hybrid analysis. Of course, it's not malicious. It's coming from AWS. That's legit. But let's go look at, um virus total that said that this company is telling us that this is a malicious occurrence and that's the only one right so what i'm going to do i'm going to do a screen capture again and i'm gonna simply copy and i'm gonna paste it here right so i'm gathering all my screen captures and then later i'll come back and do what write up my my uh write up my notes or my information about the investigation okay so that's how this happens let's go to details i get the ip address again you know what i 
I think I'm going to do another screen capture here in the sense that I, I really do want to capture this IP address in this report. So I'll do another one here. I'm going to save it in there. Again, I'm grabbing all the um, screen captures that I can. This code here is really um, hash. It's really important. Capture that as well. I know um, one of these browsers has a plugin that allows you to capture the whole page at once, right? So that's something you can also look into. And all right, so we're going to paste this here. That'll certainly make it easier grabbing all these screen captures. Um, so yeah, so that you know, here you go. And let's go into community. There's not much here. Again, I'm going to go back into my emails. So obviously, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to go back here. All right. So I'm going to delete these guys. Delete senior citizen. Uh, delete. Here goes another $100 shell gift card opportunity. Of course, everyone buys gas. So look at this URL. This time around, I'm just going to copy the base URL. We're going to drop it into hybrid analysis again. And uh, I have a feeling this will become a harmless scan. Continue. Generate public report. Yep. So, so this is another clean URL. At least it looks so. See? Clean, clean, clean all the way. All right. Yeah, no drama. No problems. This is clean. It's just some, some bad guys are using it, you know, to, to send out all the stuff. Okay. I'll drop it in here and see what else is going on. Of course, they everybody's talking about sidewalks today. What's going on? So next, uh, tax. Is that a taxi? I don't think. Yeah, I don't see a cab. Skip. All right. Let's see what we get out of this uh, URL, URL scan IO. And I'll go also. Well, yeah, we did look at that. Obviously, this is another clean. See, and look, even here, you can tell that um, URL scan IO is giving you a screen capture of the home page. So this is a lot. Well, it says a screenshot. Um, all right, so this tells you that this is a clean site. And, and you know what? Sometimes the bad guys may not even... You know, this from field here, they have they have software where you can actually type this stuff. You don't have to be already in these uh, people's uh, company network. You can just type it and say, you know, gibberish at noblis.co.uk. You don't have to be within your, your domain. All right, let's go find out where this link wants me to go. Obviously, this is social engineering, but I'm not falling for it. Instead, I'm going to right click on that link. I'm going to copy. I'll go over to hybrid analysis again, drop this in here, do a search, um, go through the prompts and more crosswalks. Okay. There goes another. There goes another. And verify. And continue. And generate public report yeah guys so again this is just one of the tools or at least should i say three of the tools in your toolbox there are hundreds and hundreds of tools but whatever company you end up working for they will have the tools that they use in-house or you know on their tool list that Obviously, you can't use a tool that is not sanctioned by your CIO, team lead, 
etc etc so all right let's look over here this one looks clean as well all right we got a crdf says this is malicious let's go down this list here so i'm gonna do a screen capture of this email of this url or report come back to my word document and i'm gonna paste it in here right so that's the that's the game right you you find this information you copy paste it and then you come back and you write your report at least that's how i'll do it okay all right so i guess i'm deleting these two delete and let's see what this one is so this one's coming from net vibes and apparently they're talking about some answer and win a brand new 8k smart tv my goodness that's what i want for christmas right so they're playing on my emotions man i want a nice 8k tv for my uh living room and uh this sounds all great but uh obviously this is not it's too good to be true guys let's just be honest so i'm going to go back here hybrid analysis do a search go through these prompts traffic lights this time check 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 oops verify continue generate public report URL scan says it's clean. Virus total says nothing available. These two guys, these Falcon Sandbox are telling me that there's nothing wrong here. It's nothing to see, dude. All right. So now I go over here. I don't see any, you know, it's nothing indicating that there's a problem here. Okay. I'm going to click on virus total. I wish virus total will just keep will just keep the URL the same way that uh, URL scan IO does. But hey, it's free tools, so I do not have any control over that. All right, so everything looks clean here. Again, guys, you know the drill. You come here, take a screen capture, paste it into your document. I'm going to go back to my email here, and this time around, I don't know, did I click this stuff? You know, they all seem to be coming from that same team, snap.com. So obviously, these guys are going on a serious spamming and phishing offensive. You know, they're, they're whatever their target is, I don't really know. I, all I know is they're phishing me, and they're spamming me. All right, and I need to make sure I don't fall into their traps. So, oh, sorry. So this one says traffic lights. One, is that a light? No, yeah, well, I guess, <laughs> I guess the actual metal pole is also part of the traffic light. Let's see if I was right. All right, here we go. We'll just do the lights this time. Next. Okay, I guess I got to do the whole, the whole shebang this time. Verify. Control. Uh, continue on it okay all right these are all clean but guys listen they might look clean but who's to say if you click on it you know it's not actually downloading some malware in the background you know anything could be happening you click on it yes it takes you to a page nothing bad happens to you but before you know it, they downloaded some malware, a Trojan in the background somewhere that's going to, you know, stick around for the next three weeks or a year and log all your keystrokes, um, your history and look at all your credit card, um, credit card uh, information when you're doing online shopping. And it, it could probably also log all your, your passwords to every site that you go into. Right. And the guys, the bad guys can take this stuff back to the to, to the mothership, as people say, and sell it on whatever market they want to sell it on. Or they can use it to come back and attack you next year. Right. All of a sudden, your accounts are empty. 
or so someone is shopping in your name and you're not sure what happened. All right, so guys, that is, wow, that's, I think we made 40 minutes on this video, but that is one of the great tools that's out here. Um, again, for hybrid analysis, you can use um, URL. See, you can upload actually upload a .exe or a zip file into hybrid analysis, and you can tell by by this here, right? It takes files or URLs, so you can upload a malicious file and see, um, or questionable file and see if it's infected. It could be anything, right? It could be a zip file containing whatever uh, that you want to put in there or you can drag a bunch of files in here okay you can do a string search you can do a yara search but this is one powerful tool again virus total is also really spectacular it also takes files you can upload a file in here you can copy paste the url or you can simply do a search on a domain right so let's see yeah, we're going to do a search on this domain here. It's really beginning to bother me. Yep, it's malicious. So again, I'm going to do a screen capture here. And paste this into my... Um, all right, so we see that these two guys here... Well, this company is flagging this as malicious, right? As you can see. I'm going to copy the stuff, throw it into my Word document and go forth and write my report later and send it over to my my team lead my cio so they can check it out and who knows we might end up putting this url on the block list um, within our firewall and our web browsers and on our email exchange on our exchange email servers, we can actually put this stuff over there and, and tell the email server that if any email comes through that contains this uh, URL, just quarantine it and delete it. All right? Make sure make sure nobody uh, make sure nobody ever gets to see that email containing this URL. Right. So there's so many things you can do to prevent things from happening. You just have to research it. And that's manual. We're using OSINT tools, right? Open source intelligence tools. Obviously, you can probably go into Splunk and see if you're actively monitoring network traffic. Um, you can see all this traffic where people actually, let's say John Doe came in and clicked on that link. You know, he went in, saw it, got happy, clicked on it, and uh, something happened to his computer. So, um, these are things that you do as a SOC analyst. Obviously, we will be doing additional tool uh, videos to cover more tools, but um, this is one of the very important tools that you have. So guys, go ahead, subscribe to this hybrid analysis, create an account and begin uh, testing it out. And um, you'll be amazed what you find, right? All right, that brings us to the end of our video today. And I will see you in the next video.